name is Nathan Chassie, and this semester I worked with Biobus. I'd like to start with a story. It's a cold Monday night. The sky is black above the slow moving, leaf sprinkled muddy river. I'm wearing my good jeans and my best sneakers. Not the right outfit for this mission. <laughs> my phone flashlight just waving around as I look through the water at the marshy riverbed. Two geese that have patrolled me all night are watching my every move at a distance. And I reach down with my sampling pipette for the hundredth time into the muck, reach back to my sampling jar, plant my foot on the mud, right on some freshly fallen leaves. My sample goes everywhere, but mostly on me, and not so much in the jar. I remember what I forgot to pack after Thanksgiving break. Better shoes. How did I get here? Well, I left my internship Somerville office for Boston Public Garden at 3.30, later than I planned. By us, my internship would bring research-grade microscopes to chaotic, distracted middle schoolers to reveal their secret curiosity. I needed samples. After a mixture of bad luck and their water feature being under construction, which, why? Um, I switched to plan B, Muddy River. When I arrived, it was 6.30 and dark. After much searching, I realized something fairly essential to my plan. The tiny creature that I was looking for dies in the cold. The two geese wandered a little bit closer, now suspicious of the college student who was interrupting their sleep. And I was hungry, a bit dizzy, but the next day's program relied on me. So I pivoted, using my pipette, to catch microscopic unicellular organisms, and after a half hour of collection, I slipped. As I stumbled upright, muddy and defeated, the lead goose gave me a sarcastic honk. <laughs> <laughs> My poor planning and bad luck brought me to a low point, literally. But what matters more is how I experienced the rest of that night. I looked at the full moon lighting a fall into winter world, the gentle expanse of the now familiar river, the Prudential Center shimmering in the clear sky and the soft lighting of the Longwood train station behind a wall of New England trees. I remembered the atmosphere of excitement and passion to finally work in education that was behind my first sample collection. I realized that in that moment, I was a scientist, as Biobus helped me see, one of the many who had to get their hands dirty making observations in the search for truth. And I was grateful for that thought. And so I laughed in the absurdity of the flying water bugs and two skeptical geese mocking a phone flashlight wielding, two nice shoes wearing college student. I spent most of my life desperately afraid of failure. It brought me success in school, but when I finally had to face real uncertainty, I found myself paralyzed. That path, though it was predictable, brought me to a place without close relationships, work that I actually cared about, or a hopeful vision for the future for my own life. This semester, I walked new paths, not knowing what was ahead. I worked at Biobus, an incredible education nonprofit that shares and articulates my deepest values. I made friends, hopefully lifelong, and discovered how to simply be with people. I led projects that made this world better, that I actually cared about, without the motivation of grades. Amidst the worked-for successes, welcome surprises, and countless failures, I realized that there was real uncertainty in everything worth doing, but that there's beauty in that. So that night, when it might have simply been miserable, the slip and the goose patrol was a reminder of the hilarious absurdity of this crazy ride that we're all on. And now, for the first time in my life, 
I am embracing unpredictability and life for what it is, unexpected.